How's it going guys? It's Street Junkie here. Today's video, we're going to be talking about this device right here. This is my Amazon Fire 5th Gen 7-inch tablet. This is a $50 tablet that you've seen on deals on Amazon. And we're going to be talking about installing a Resurrection Remix ROM. Now, to do that, the method I'm going to show is actually on an older Fire uh, OS version. So if you're on 5.1.1 or above, you'll have to use Flash Fire. And I did a video on that recently. So you have to check that out. And I think you should be able to flash this ROM and CM12 at this point with Flash Fire. Um, only tested it on another ROM that I did a video on, but I've been told it works with all of them now. So that being said, let me just show you what I've got here. Go into settings. Normally, if you go to device options right here, you can check your Fire OS version. Now, mine, um, you have to go to device options and you hit up system update. So mine's going to say it fails because I blocked system updates because I don't want this device to update because I still want to be able to boot into Twerp Recovery, which is what we're going to do in this video today. So that being said, let's go ahead and uh, plug this in and show you some files. Now you're going to need to have a couple of different files already on your device and those files are going to be the ROM, the Google applications, and super Sue if you want root access which I'm assuming you will on a custom ROM so you're gonna have to have all those three in, already on your device I already copied them to my SD card so they're there already definitely get those from the video description before you go much farther than this let's go ahead and plug this thing in so there we go we're plugged in and let's shoot over to my computer and get this thing booted into Torp recovery alright guys here we go this is Resurrection Remix. It's the ROM. This is the post here on XDA. So it's really important to come through here, read through all this so you get a full understanding of the first post here, what is all involved. Here's the directions we're going to be following. And then lastly, here's the ROM and here's the Google applications. And I'll link you to SuperSue file as well. Actually, you know what? Here, you can get it from here. Yeah, right there. And then this file right there. Download that one and you'll be good to go. Okay? It's really simple. All right. So we've got all the files we need downloaded. They're already on the device. I'm just going to skip to that part. We're going past all that. So what we're going to do to get this thing to boot into Torp Recovery is we're going to use this right here. This is my super tool. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the batch file. And this should go ahead and, I mean, you can do lots of this. you got to make sure your drivers are installed, obviously. Um, you got to do all that. You can go through option one to ADB driver install and test. It actually can test them out as well. Um, but what we're going to use is, see here, boot, option 5, boot torp recovery. So we're going to do type 5, hit enter. And like I said, this does not work on Fire OS 5.1.1. You'd have to use Flash Fire and reference that video on that. So this is telling you about turn on USB debugging, so on and so forth. Again, I've covered all these things in my Super Tool video, so watch that if you haven't seen it push any key to continue and error unknown host server interesting let's see what happens here and it really didn't matter because it looks like it did it anyway um, unknown host service not sure what that's about but let's see what happens here it looks like it transmitted okay and gives you a little question mark here so let's see what what this means okay so not a big deal just wait for it and twerp opens up that's interesting I'll have to look into that in the script to find out what's going on there but now that we're in twerp let's go ahead and let's go ahead and flash this ROM and check it out we're done on the computer at this point okay so to install this we're in twerp recovery here we have to go to wipe and just uh, swipe across to wipe data factor reset the device go back go back to home up here go to install and I actually already got this set up so it's in the right folder but you just got to navigate through your folder structure to find out where you have all your files mine are right here you can see them already and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and click on resurrection remix then we're gonna add a file we're gonna click on the Google applications add another file click on super sue and it should say three files of 10 max and then just swipe across to flash the ROM it's a pretty simple process. I'm assuming this is going to flash very quickly. Um, last couple rounds that I've done have been pretty, pretty fast. You see there's a little animation here about uh, Resurrection Remix, which is really cool. I'm really excited to check out this round. This is the last one that I've seen for the Amazon Fire 5th Gen. And 
not sure exactly what's in it. I've, I've looked through the other ROMs that are available right now and kind of excited to check this one out on the Amazon Fire tablet. All right, so the ROM is finished and we're now installing the Google applications, um, installing gaps, fixing permissions and context on context. Yeah, if I can say that correctly. And then the last thing is obviously going to be um, flashing Super Sue, which normally goes extremely fast. Um, there it is. This is flashing Super Sue and done. All right. So from here, we can go ahead and hit reboot system now. And this should boot us up here into Resurrection Remix. So there's your Amazon logo. First boot can take up to 10 minutes. If your device takes longer than 10 minutes to boot, there's an issue. You have a problem. This is a good sign. We have the boot animation. That is beautiful. Uh, I'm going to let this thing boot up. I'm going to go through my initial setup really quickly. And then I'm going to show you guys Resurrection Remix here on the Amazon Fire 5th Gen tablet. All right, we are booted up. So here it is. Resurrection Remix. This is what it should look like. Completely stock. Just first initial boot. Go into the app drawer and just see what we got in here. Um, so some audio files, camera. Let's just see if camera functions. Yes, it does. So we have our tags. There's my desk. And then I think I can flip this thing around. Let's see. Oh, that's settings. Let's see if we can do it. There we go. Front camera should work. Let's find out. Yeah, it does. Hello. So that's cool. We're good on those. Um, let's see what else we have. Clock, uh, downloads, file manager. This looks like CM file manager. Yes, it is. So we have CM file manager right there. Um, we have kernel auditor, which is nice. I've seen that in some of the ROMs. Uh, CM theme. So this is very much CM based. So that's pretty cool. So lock screen wallpapers, boon animations, all the cool stuff you can do here with the CM theme engine is all included, which is really awesome. And then we have the Google Play Store and your settings. So let's shoot into settings here and see what we have in this thing. Ooh, wow, pitch black, deactive. Oh, wow. That, oh, there's some cool personalization stuff right here. That's probably going to be my favorite thing to kind of check out. We just kind of want to look through it as we go here. Super Sue here is built in. You can see it right there. Um, install add-ons. Sure, why not? Um, and then no thanks. And yeah, so we definitely have root access. That proves that right there. Um, just kind of look through it some more. About tablet, Android 5.1.1. So you can click on that. And there is your lollipop. And then actually you can keep going and you can get the secret hidden game. So that's pretty awesome. Let's see what else we have. Um, let's do our pull down. So there's your drop down. Looks like I have an update. So heads up, there's some toggles there, theme, configuration, nav bar on, different. There's quite a bit of quick toggles in here that you guys can use, which is pretty neat. Let's go back into settings. Um, battery, let's see what we got in there. So yeah, just standard battery stuff. You saw about already. Let's just look at it one more time. So build number, you can again tap on it, turn on developer options, which is always a good thing to do. And make sure that you have ADB debugging turned on or Android debugging right there. So that's that's definitely a good thing. Ooh, actually, does that have advanced reboot? It does. Yeah, turn that on too. Excellent. Very cool. Very cool. Um, so let's look in here. So this is a shortcut again to your CM theme engine. So you can use that. You have configuration. Oh, baby. Oh, man, this is so full. I'm not even going to be able to go through all this. But just looking at some of your headers, there's some really cool configuration. Let's go to status bar. Yeah, brightness controllers. Yeah, okay. Yep, 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 yep. Logo colors, clocks, battery styles. So basically, if you want to see just a ton of cool stuff, you can do it there. I turn on percentage for your battery. Um, yeah, this is going to be nice. Oh, new updates. Nice. So this is really cool. If Resurrection Remix puts out a new update, you will see that there's a new update ready to download. And then you, from here, you can just go back in, boot Torp, and, and install that new updated version. That's really nice. I like to see that in custom ROMs. Uh, Latch, but not least, let's look at this. So override custom colors, advanced switch options. So this has to do with theming, switch theme. Ooh, check that out. That's cool. I love black themes. 
Oh, nice. <laughs> That's cool. And then you, I'm sure you can probably get in and actually theme this other secondary color. Um, let's see. Highlight, condition, change, experimental, daylight. Uh -huh, interesting. I'll have to play with that some more. I, I really like this black. The black look for settings and stuff. I wish this was black, actually. Um, the app drawer was black. But just the settings being, being dark and those color updates, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, definitely digging that. Very, very nice. So anyway, yeah, guys, if you want to check this thing out, I mean, it seems to be working good. Let me just open up my app store really quick. Yeah, we're looking good. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, let's just try doing this really quick. Just have some tapping on the keys, so root checker. Just to make sure we have root access. I mean, I know we do, but I'll just do it anyway. And just to show you that the Play Store is functional. Um, oh, yeah, dude, that's, that's cool. I like that dark theme a lot. It's very simple. I'm sure you can configure more of it if you dig into it. But um, very, very nice. So just go ahead and do this, and we'll check for root access. You should get the pop-up. There it is. We'll grant it. Shabam, root access. So there you go. Overall, you know what? I like this a lot. Resurrection Remix looks really, really solid and seems to run very fluidly and smoothly. So definitely check it out if you're interested in this ROM. Again, Flashfire should flash this. Um, I know it's been tested on slim rom and it's been tested on cm now it functions as well i haven't heard exactly for this one but i think it's going to work the same way since they're based off the same basic source i think um so we should be good there but um kind of trial and error test on your own whim uh, but there you go follow this video if you're still on the bootable bootloader and uh hope you guys stay tuned for more videos on the amazon fire fifth gen seven inch tablet and we'll catch you guys in the next one Root Junkie out.